Good evening. Paul Dominic Jarry is my name. Today's class, we are going to be discussing education and social mobility. Permit me to kindly share my screen as we go about into this lecture series. I hope you have your notebook, you have your pen, or in readiness because there will be important points tonight that you will have to be writing down as we go along and questions will be entertained. So just shortly, let me share my screen with you. Share the screen. This is Education 106. Okay, I think if you are there, you can see my screen. Today we are going to be looking at, as I said earlier, education and social mobility. First of all, we want to take a look at the two key concepts in um, our topic for today's class. One social mobility. How, what do we see social mobility or how do we define social, social mobility? Social mobility refers, as you can see on the screen, it refers to the movement within a social structure from one social position to another. When People move from one position in the society to another position in the society. We say they are exhibiting social mobility, irrespective of where they come from. Whether they come from down, they went up, or they came from up and came down, we consider it social mobility. All societies provide some opportunities for social mobility. Every nation, every setting provides some opportunity for social mobility. Let's say, for example, at your working place, if there was no room for social mobility, how will employees be motivated to put more time to the job that they do? Social mobility will be upward, will be downward. So we say upward, I mean, social mobility. I only, in today's class, you are going to develop the concept as I'm doing on social mobility first. Then we will take a look at, a brief look at education. Then we will draw a link between social mobility and that of education. Are you with us? Okay, now. We say education is an important factor of social mobility. Why is education described important factor of social mobility? Why should education be rated as important factor of social mobility? This is because education places a person at a higher advantage. Education most of the time, many people consider that once one has attained education, it is bounding. It is bounding that such an individual becomes successful. It is, it will interest you to know that that is the contrary. Education does not mean bound to succeed. Education places a person at an advantage, places a person at a more better position. So that's why we say education is an important factor of social mobility because if one gain education, there's a likelihood that he may acquire wealth by value of the income he will be earning, right? He might be given higher position, but 
I just gave you or G's about A, then we will run you through tonight about the link, what links social mobility to education. Now we say an individual's education is positively correlated with the income that he or she is likely to earn. So just as I said, this area. So having education, it places you at an advantageous position in which you can earn, you can earn better income. Let's take, for example, if you are or you are an hire and you are looking for people to fill managerial position, then you said you want people with master's degree to fill that position. Then, Having had your advertisement out, all of the applicants have applied. All of the applicants who applied, only one of the applicants has a master's degree. Though master's degree is not the only yardstick or is not the only part of the criteria that is to be used, but the master status, the individual with the master's qualification will be put at a more advantage. And once that individual is, is hired in your institution, definitely there will be preference of higher salary based on his qualification. So if you put an average or an average was released and then you saw they say we want a janitor, high school graduates an advantage, that tells you that um, such a position does not re require more money. It doesn't pay more money because definitely it does not desire education at higher level. So education, having more education or better, the higher education a person attains, the better income the person is able to earn and the better income a person is able to earn, the greater wealth he attains. Now, quickly, was if education increases social mobility by providing the individual with the skills necessarily to enter the job market and to compete against order for a particular job. So you see, what links social mobility to education? Once a person acquires education, it increases the chances of that person to acquire social mobility. And that social mobility, most times when we look at when we talk about is upward social mobility. Now, what am I talking about? Let's look down here quickly. We say it said. Formal education is closely linked to overall social mobility, and in its aspect, schools play an important role in sorting out individuals into their prospective levels. So, you see what education does? A person who takes time go to class from primary, or secondary, I mean, junior secondary, secondary, go to college. We say such a person is closely link to upward social mobility. There's a likelihood that that person may succeed, may rise, but it does not negate the fact that the person cannot succeed. It is based on the individual high-end effort. That is why the functionalist perspectives, their concern is that there should be a survival of the fittest, like Herbert Spencer theory, right? that talks about social Darwinism. It says, all members of the society should be left alone to fend for themselves, to fight for themselves, to strive. Those weaklings should not be made to be looked at. Rather, they should see others that are succeeding to strive to follow. So he is saying in his theory that we should not have time for those who are moving, I mean, are not succeeding. Right? So, 
formal education formal education is a close link to upward social mobility all right so that is that can be done through the system of examinations because when a person go to school he or she has to take examination he or she will be supervised and then there will be subsequently there will be promotions that is if the president is doing a graduate program or undergraduate program from the freshman level they go to sophomore from sophomore they go to junior from junior they, grad, they go to senior and then they graduate so you see before all these steps are involved there are stages and all of these stages along the line they write examinations they write they are supervised and then they gain promotion that is education in the formal setting Having had all of this training, it assists the movement of person into the top position in society or the elite mobility. So today, there are many professional areas that require higher education. You want to be a doctor, you need to go for medical uh, training for a couple of years. You want to be a lawyer, you need to gain the requisite uh, training, the requisite education, you want to be an accountant, teachers, engineers, and so forth. You just name on all those professional fees, right? So education has a great impact on social mobility. Okay, now to take all of your time, let's just quickly look at our major point of discussion here as you can see the screen as you can see the screen it says education and social mobility they, there are various ways of facilitating social mobility such as political power marriage family affiliations and education so you see there are many ways to have social mobility we are not saying that education is the only way a person does not, a person can gain social mobility by acquiring political power. That means I would want to have the desire or have the resources qualify, meet all of the requirements to contest the seat of representative in Liberia. And I'm very for political power. Who knows? Even if I had limited education, once I'm able to advocate for my people, once I'm able to analyze and make laws, what happens is that I can rise to prominence. And when I rise to prominence, what has occurred? Social mobility. Okay? I do not have money. I'm not educated. But I get married to a man who has money. So the marriage is another factor, another ways of facilitating social mobility. The man who accumulate all his wealth and at the end of the day marry a woman. What happens? She get glued to the man and they both possess the properties and every other thing. Therefore, she has rise or rose to social mobility through marriage, family affiliations. Generally, because of the affiliations you have with the family, you can rise to social mobility. But the, among all of these things, the key determinant the key factor that can rise a person even from the dungeon to sit with kings, to shake the hands of presidents, to go places that he or she has never gone before, we say is education. So education is a key determinant to social mobility. Thank you very much. Thank you for affording me your time. I hope we'll meet the next class time. But before we take a leave, if there is any question, you can go ahead with your questions. Then we'll be providing you answers as your questions come. Okay, we are waiting on questions. If there is no question, if there is no question, then we 
we'll have to call this a day until we meet we we'll meet in our next class thank you so much it was a nice class time with you thank you